Someone recently asked me about the hike in ashy candlestick pattern, curious if it could be more profitable than traditional candlestick patterns. So, traders, in today's video, I'll be diving into the hike in ashy chart type. By the end of this video, you'll understand everything about it, including what it reveals and how it differs from traditional chart types. Here, we have the hike in ashy chart type, which we just selected from the chart type menu. You can now see the hike in ashy chart in front of us, with each of these critical bars visible, including the consecutive green and red bars that might not be as noticeable on a traditional candlestick chart. To compare, here's a traditional candlestick chart of the same pair, with candles selected. Notice the difference. Now, let's dive into Heiken Ashi charts and examine the smoothness and color transitions of each candle. We'll explore why these features occur and how to leverage this chart type in your research and analysis. To start with Heiken Ashi charts, it helps to understand their origin and meaning. This charting method, which originated in Japan centuries ago, translates to average bar with Heiken meaning average and Ashi meaning bar. When using Heiken Ashi charts, it's important to note that each bar or candle represents an average price for that time period, rather than an exact price like traditional candlestick charts. Before we delve further, let's examine the details of the most recent price action for this pair. We'll start by looking at the Heiken Ashi bar. Here, the open price was $72. The high was $72.95, the low was $71.50, and the close was $72.20. These values come from the OHLC data at the top, representing open, high, low, and close prices. Now, let's compare these with the values on a traditional candlestick chart. For the same bar or candle, the open price is $71.51, the high is $72.96, the low is $71.51, and the close is $72.81. This is a green candle, in contrast to the previous day's red candle. When we switch back to the Heiken Ashi chart, we notice differences in both the values and the color of the candle. The key reason for this discrepancy is that Heiken Ashi charts reflect an average price, and the open price calculation differs from what you might be accustomed to. When viewing this chart daily, the open is typically at 3.30 p.m. EAT, marking the start of the New York trading session. This is generally when the open price is set. However, on a Heiken Ashi chart, the open is calculated differently. It is determined by averaging the previous open and close prices, and dividing by two therefore, providing an average price based on the prior day's activity. Thus, the open you see reflects this average value. The close price is also calculated differently on a Heiken Ashi chart compared to a traditional chart. On a conventional chart, the close is determined by the end of the New York trading session, which concludes at 11 p.m. Eastern Africa time, so the closing price at this time is shown on the chart up here. In contrast, for a Heiken Ashi chart, is not done the same. This approach applies to various asset classes, such as Forex or cryptocurrencies. The most important thing is knowing the opening and closing values of those assets for instance, with cryptocurrencies that trade 24-7, the open and close are defined as the first and last trades within each time frame, like a 5-minute chart. On a standard 5-minute chart, the open is represented by the price of the first trade within that 5-minute period, and the close is shown as the price of the last trade when the period ends. However, this differs for Heiken Ashi charts. For Heiken Ashi, the close is calculated as the average of the open, high, low, and close divided by 4. Essentially, it combines all four values open, high, low, and close add them together, and divides by 4 to produce a single average value. At this point, you're beginning to notice the distinctions between Heiken Ashi charts and traditional candlestick charts. On a Heiken Ashi chart, both the open and close prices are averages calculated from specific formulas. This results in the open and close on the chart reflecting these average values. 
Additionally, the high point on a Heiken Ashi chart represents the highest value among the recent high, open, or close prices, while the low point represents the lowest value among the recent low, open, or close prices. By understanding these differences, you're grasping the basics of Heiken Ashi charts. Unlike candlestick charts, line charts, or bar charts, which have their own methods of construction, Heiken Ashi charts are based on average values hence the name average bar. This approach provides a unique way of visualizing price action. Why do traders favor Heiken Ashi charts? They appreciate them for their ability to clearly display trends. By examining the number of consecutive green bars right here and red bars here, traders can easily visualize the trend direction. Heiken Ashi charts provide a smoother representation of price movements, similar to how moving averages smooth out price data compared to traditional candlestick charts. Essentially, Heiken Ashi charts show an average price using a specific formula, making trends more apparent. However, it's important to note that Heiken Ashi charts have limitations. Unlike real-time candlestick charts, Heiken Ashi charts reflect average prices, including the color of the candles, which is based on these averages and their relationship to past price levels. Another important point to note is that when you double-click on the Heiken Ashi chart, you can fully customize it just like any other chart. You have the option to adjust colors, hide elements, and modify every detail, including the body, borders, and wicks. For example, you can choose to have white borders on the chart for better visibility of the Heiken Ashi bars. Additionally, you might see real prices listed on the price scale instead of Heiken Ashi prices. Remember, Heiken Ashi prices are averages, so the prices displayed on the scale reflect this average, as per the formulas explained earlier. If you check the box for real prices, the price scale will show two values. For instance, on a 5-minute chart, if you uncheck this box, you'll see both price charts 7280 and 7281. The 7280 represents the average close price, while 7281 is the actual price. If you switch to a candlestick chart, you'll see the actual price of 7281. On Heiken Ashi charts, you can choose to hide the average price and display only the real-time price, allowing you to view the actual price as the average Heiken Ashi bars form. This feature is quite useful as it lets you see both the real-time price and the smooth average price simultaneously. However, keep in mind that Heiken Ashi charts won't show precise values as candlestick charts do. To get exact open, high, low, and close values, you might need to switch between charts or use a multi-chart layout to view both Heiken Ashi and Candlestick charts at once. This way, you can appreciate the smoothness of Heiken Ashi alongside the detailed price action provided by Candlesticks. This brings us to the end of this video, let me hope you have learned something, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. I will see you in my next video.